Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is Louis Vuitton unboxing of the multi pochette in khaki. And I'll just really quickly unbox and then kind of tell you any issues I had, why I ended up purchasing this, and any other thoughts I have about this particular bag. So without further ado, let's get straight into the unboxing. First thing I want to note is that Louis Vuitton is having a packaging shortage. Um, so if, if you are one to value and really care for the packaging and making sure you have the ribbon and everything i would definitely be mindful of that if you are purchasing a bag right now i did not get the ribbon with my box she asked if i wanted to come in later i personally didn't mind not getting the ribbon my most important thing is making sure i have a dust bag and a box for the item but for me personally it was okay with not receiving the ribbon but if you are potentially getting your first bag or if you really just do value making sure you have everything that you're supposed to get when you purchase these items, then you might want to wait or just be mindful that you might have to pick up later. So that's just the first thing. And then the second thing is it did come in this box, which I'm 99% certain that, that this is not the box it's supposed to come in. It has like a pullout tab and there's a stain. So I don't know if I caused that or if it came like that, I don't think I would have caused it. I haven't put it anywhere really. So I just like, like, you know, in the bag or on the floor. So I think it may, might have just like came stained already. But again, it's a box and it's not even the correct box. It's a pullout um, tab box, which I think is for shoes. So I really do think this is a shoe box. Um, if anyone's purchased shoes from Louis Vuitton, can you just comment down below if this is a shoe box or if some, some of your bags do come in, in this box? I just didn't think it was meant for this item specifically because it is... It's not wide, but I feel like you, you're kind of bunching everything up when you're putting it in here. Um, and to also reaffirm is that my aunt just ended up purchasing one too, and hers just got mailed to her. And it came in the more appropriate box, which is what I was thinking it would come in, which is the magnetic closure. And it kind of opens this way and it, it's wide, like this wide, so that it fits, you know, like all the pieces comfortably. And it all came in their respective dust bags, which as you can tell, and I'll show you guys right now. So I just sort of put it in here i didn't put it neatly um but it kind of does look bunched up i mean it's very hard you can't space these out like you couldn't if it was a wider box um which i think it is supposed to come in but i know they're having a packaging shortage so it that could have just been they didn't have the appropriate box but to me it shouldn't like when you the shipments come shouldn't they come in their their boxes just a little annoying um that it kind of is in this setup because it's, it leaves it that they all have to be on top of each other when i really would want them spread out um, so that's just how it came and the second thing so I'll just show you guys this is the one I purchased it's in khaki it has the three monogram and it has the, th the larger monogram in the front and then the smaller I want to say like mini monogram in the back which is this is the one I really really love I wish they actually made the style for like a bag because I really like the miniature version of the monogram and it comes in this cute chain that you can detach and all three are detachable there's like plenty of videos on this bag it was a very very popular bag about well, still is a very popular bag but i know a lot of people were making videos probably when it came out like a year ago um so this will patina so i think i have to look into ways how to not make it patina because I, I i like this color i know some people enjoy the darker patina but i prefer how it comes naturally and then it does come in the gold plated hardware so it's all gold i personally love the khaki against the gold and the brown i think it just looks i don't know i think it just makes it look really really nice versus when i tried the pink i just didn't have the same obsession over it if, if that makes sense like i just felt like it really complemented the green with the gold and the brown versus the pink it didn't make it stand out as much i don't know if you guys have the pink you know obviously it's all a preference thing but that's just how i felt i when i was trying the two on i just felt like the green looked better against my skin tone, my hair, and also against the bag. So I thought it just complemented the bag a lot more than the pink uh, strap. So that is why I got the green strap. I One of the reasons I love this bag is that it is adjustable. And I'm 4'11", so I need an adjustable bag because most bags just aren't meant for my frame or size. So that's one of the challenges I do have when purchasing a bag. Another issue I had was that when I was purchasing this, and keep in mind, I did purchase it through the Louis Vuitton within Saks versus the Louis Vuitton standalone store, that they were boxing it up in this one, like, giant dust bag. And I had watched unboxing videos, so I knew it, it came with its own uh, dust bags for each little piece. 
And when I asked her, she just said that they usually put in the one. Um, she was more than willing and more than happy to give me other dust bags. But I think she just gave me like random dust bags because she gave me two of these in the same size. And again, my aunt purchased it. So hers just came in and, and hers came in the three dust bags that were meant for each size. So there's a smaller one, a medium size one, and a larger one. This is that I just have, she actually gave me four dust bags. So I have four dust bags and they're all like this size which is fine. It's a dust bag. I'm just happy to have the four that I think, or the three, I don't know if three or four are supposed to come, but I have four. Um, so I could put each one, the bag and the strap all separately when putting them away. But it is again annoying because it's in this little shoe box. So they all have to end up just like stacking against each other. And I don't know if that's from a wearability and, you know, storing purpose. I don't know if it's going to actually end up uh, flattening maybe one out because the weight like I don't know so that's just something that I, I might have an issue with I'll definitely let you guys know if that's something I see but overall super excited with the bag I'm really really happy to have purchased it I know this was a very controversial bag because I believe or people were saying that Louis Vuitton was um, basically gifting this bag to influencers as a marketing approach to you know really build build up demand prior to this launching for the first time and i know people were upset about that i personally um never really saw it on instagram or being influenced to me but one of the reasons i never purchased it was because i was never a fan of the monogram from louis vuitton i did end up buying a key pouch of monogram and i ended up just really really loving it and actually really do enjoy the monogram pieces now so that's why once i found out that i i didn't not like the monogram pieces that i was open to this bag because i thought this bag would work perfectly for my lifestyle i love shoulder bags one i love how they're detachable and i'm a mini bag person i love wearing small bags i don't put a lot of things in my purse and i love that even the smallest size of this multi pochette fits my phone and i have the 11 max so that was really really nice to know that my having a smaller bag and it still fits my phone which is usually a struggle in itself just I usually have to hold my phone which is fine in the winter time when I'm wearing a jacket but when I'm not wearing a jacket it does get a little annoying um so that's one of the reasons I what drew me to this bag is that they're all detachable that my phone would fit in it that it's a crossbody bag like I said I'm always walking around the city so I need something that is just lightweight and convenient and this bag is extremely lightweight I don't know if it's the strap I know if you have a thicker strap it does usually mean that um it'll put less uh weight and just um just less weight the the weight gets distributed better i think versus like a thinner strap i know usually if you have a thinner strap you feel it more the heaviness of the bag so it does feel lightweight i've i haven't packed it full but to me it feels fine and i've worn it um once or twice so far when i was going out and i absolutely have no complaints so far if you are a person that likes mini bags if you like versatility if you like that you don't have to wear this bag the same way every time you wear it, I think that's a really, really good advantage to this bag is that you're really getting three or four different items in one because you can wear the strap, you can attach the strap somewhere else, you can wear just the chain, you can wear just the multi pochette, you could take your, if you have like the other little multi pochette, you can attach that one and you can do so many different things that this bag, I know some people don't like and it's all preference things. So, you know, whatever you like, definitely purchase. But for me, I've just found it to be so useful and like I said, I have a very, very small collection when it comes to bags. I'm more of a jewelry person because I feel like that's what I get the most wear out of. But I love it. It's my third bag. I have the Poche Matisse and I have the Saint Laurent wallet on chain. And then I have this. So I think I have everything that they all serve their different purposes. And I just love them so much. I did have the GST. I sold that a while back just because I wasn't really getting the wear out of it. And I realized I don't like things that compartmentalize. Some people love that. That's just not a me thing. You know, you have to always buy what you like and also what fits your lifestyle. So that was something that I knew just didn't work for me. So I'm really happy with this purchase. Maybe I'll post some pictures on Instagram of me wearing it. My Instagram is at underscore New York Sensation. I'll put it down below in case you guys want to follow me or just check out my posts because I do post sometimes. Um, try to stay active as much as I can. Oh, and I also want to show you guys two items that I picked from the Burberry outlet. So I did want to redeem myself with one of the items and I'll show you really, really quick because I don't want this to be a super long video. The first item I got, which I, I would say I redeemed myself, is I got another Burberry scarf. Um, if you guys have been watching since the beginning and if you care, I bought a Burberry scarf probably three or four years ago now and I lost it within a week or it got stolen. Um, so it was very, very sad and 
I ended up getting a new one finally three four years later so very excited to have redeemed myself and it's a really pretty blue gray black scarf so it's really nice second item I purchased uh really quickly again is this black it's like what they're known for their black jacket um with the Burberry print inside. Super cute for the fall, spring. I love how it's just black and I don't really have just a black lightweight jacket. So I was really excited to see that they had this. So it was at the Burberry outlet and they did have additional discounts. So it was really nice to be able to pick these up and I love them so much. I love how it's black. I know sometimes when you go places, they always usually have like the colors and I love colors, but I just find sometimes that you don't end up wearing them that much because you have to match them with certain stuff. Um, and then the, the scarf, I just really, really love that colorway. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. I, I tried doing it as quickly as possible. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can comment down below or DM me on Instagram, whichever you feel more comfortable with. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'm so, so close to a thousand subscribers. It'd be so awesome to finally get there. Uh, I know I don't post that frequently, but I really do try to provide content that I think um, make sense and I do have some videos that I am working on that are more content related like um, I know people want to see my card holder collection or SLG in general and my jewelry collection so I definitely am making those two videos I just have some of my pieces still in my parents house and some of my pieces with me so I want to make sure I have everything before I film those type of videos uh, so that's sometimes why things take longer because I wasn't even in the New York area for like four months to have any of my stuff and then I still don't have all my stuff in one place so bear with me i am trying to make those videos and i you know i look forward to speaking with you guys and thank you for all the new subscribers that have joined um definitely keep in touch i'll see you guys in my next video bye